This video clip is about Bluetooth GPSs with data logging capabilities. Now, some of, you, some of you may ask, what is data logging? Well, you could say there's two variations of data logging. One that is um, post-process, effectively what we've got here, or those that are live. Now, the live ones do require GPSs with effectively a, a mobile phone built into them, a GSM phone or uh, using the GSM network, uh, that is not relevant to Bluetooth GPSs because Bluetooth GPSs really only use um, um, data logging capability as a um, post-process, meaning that it stores it and then you take it to your, uh, take it home or to your office, um, download the data and view it onto your laptop so it's not live. The only way you can get live data if you're using the Bluetooth um, side of it. You cannot use both at the same time, either data logging or you're actually using the GPS alive. Um, in the case of the Bluetooth models nowadays, you've only got a 10 meter range, so you can't go too far with it. Now, um, with the data logging units, there are variations of them, of course. Uh, for example, the amount of memory on board, which means how much data logging uh, uh, it can do in terms of points. Whether it's, um, for example, um, 100,000 waypoints or 50,000 waypoints or 65,000 waypoints, etc. It just depends. If you uh, do a lot of travelling, uh, in one day or two days, or if you don't want to um, get the data uh, for quite some time, you can set it to um, often in, uh, based on time or by distance, uh, whatever suits you. And then when you've actually collected the data on these units, you can then transfer it onto your laptop and view it in Google Earth or Locator or any other software that uh, allows you to view uh, GPS data. Now. Uh, we have got a few models here. There's not uh, an overly fantastic range like the standard Bluetooth GPS, of course, because not everyone requires data logging capabilities. For example, I do have here the brand new GlobalSat BT335. This particular model is very, very much similar to the BT338 in terms of um, volume, shape, design, etc. Except the BT338 has a square face here. And of course, it's not a data logger. Uh, often with data loggers, they either have a push button on the front or they have a switch on the side. And as I mentioned, you cannot um, uh, make use of the Bluetooth GPS in terms of um, street navigation live and data log at the same time. It's one or the other. Another model we've got is the um, San Jose BT48. They've got quite a few data logging models to choose from. Um, their website's a little bit confusing as to what is the current model and what is not, but it's just basically relying on um, what GPS engine that it's got in it uh, and how many um, or how much um, onboard memory it's got uh, for the amount of data logging that is available to it. Now we've also got Transystem models. We've got the Transystem um, iBlue 747 and the Transystem iBlue 757. As previously mentioned, Transystem tend to use the Boeing planes models as their um, models for their GPSs. Now I showed you two different models. Uh, this one here is a standard Bluetooth GPS with data logging capability. Um, it has um, up to 100,000 waypoints um, capability. Uh, it's got 16 megabytes on board. Now this fella here has only got 8 megabytes on board. That means 50,000 um, track points can be collected. Uh, again, as, as I previously mentioned, can be either by time or by distance, whatever suits uh, your needs. It's just a matter of practice before you really know which way to go. It does have a switch on the side to choose between using it as a normal Bluetooth GPS or as a data logger. Now this particular unit is, is quite um, interesting in the sense that not only is it a standard Bluetooth GPS, it's also got data logging as well as a solar panel. Just a quick little diagram there shows you how it flips open um, and connects to your PC to view Google Earth. Uh, very, very good unit indeed. And of course, compared to a standard Bluetooth GPS, they do go up in price accordingly uh, because they do have extra electronics or they do have a solar panel, which means extra money involved.